I don't know about you, but I've been tired of having all my USB holes filled. Never having a slot to be able to put something in. So I found an option and an answer for that. I'm actually really excited about this. This is a USB 3 hub. It's got 16 ports, but every single one of the ports has a power switch, so you can shut it on or off if you like. Uh, it works for iOS as well, not iOS, but it works for uh, Apple as well as for your desktop computer. And uh, basically what it is, you plug it into a power source, which plugs into the hub itself. The hub plugs into a single port into your computer and then you have 16 ports where you're able to power things like your uh, battery packs, you're able to power your headphones, you're able to power your tablets, uh, all that kind of stuff. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get into that today. I'm super excited. Um, it basically shows you the schematics here where it's got the LED lights to say if they're on, USB 3 ports. And then it has the power switches. Uh, this one here says that it's got 16 ports, 12 volt power. Uh, it weighs 238 grams with an aluminum housing. And it works for the Windows computers as well as the Mac computers. So uh, we're pretty cool. And, and the thing is, this actually says that it uh, can daisy chain up to 127 devices plugged into this uh, one device itself. And um, it says 16 downstream at 5 gigabytes per second. So um, let's check it out, see how it works. All right, let's get into it here. So we've got our hub. Yep, it's got an aluminum housing, which is pretty cool. It's got our on and off buttons, simple click. All right, it's got our USB 3 plug here that's going to go to the computer. It has the 12 volt power source where you plug into any of your uh, power outlets. Wow, that, that power supply is pretty, pretty big there. It's got an on and off light here, indicator. Input 100 to 200 volts, 240 volts AC. Output 12 volt. Indoor use only, don't put it in the rain. So uh, this is actually going to be a pretty long cord, so this is cool. Here comes the heavy duty USB cord that connects to your hub and then to your computer. And look at that cord, it's pretty thick. It's almost as thick as my pinky finger. We've been able to evacuate all of the USBs up in the front. We've got the hub down below. And you see here how it's got the on and off switch. So you can select which ones you want to use. And so we are going to start plugging everything up into the hub and see how it works. And I love that you can have your instant access to your hard drives if you want them, but keep them off if you don't. Very nice. Now we can plug in all of our devices, charge all of our battery banks, game systems, and Bluetooth headsets. And we always have the ability to keep 
our front ports open just in case we need a quick ready plug in. The only thing I wasn't super excited about is the power cable where it connects. It uh, is a little bit loose how it connects, but it's all the way in there. But other than that, I love it. It gives me the ability to have all of my cords plugged into one place. It gives me the ability to turn on and off the ones that I don't want to use. And um, I'm pretty excited about it.